Hello Zenbees, it's time for a tile on tile string series. A Zentangle mini project created using simple fun string drawn with the help of a tile. So this is our tile on tile string number 12. You can watch all our previous projects from the series on our playlist tile on tile strings. I'm Sandhya Manne, I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we'll talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays and Fridays. For today's workshop, I'm working on a white heart shaped tile, black pen, pencil and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are with our tile on tile string number 12. So I'm going to use a, a white heart shape tile, my black 01 micron, uh, PN or a 08 black micron, pencil and stuff for shading. So these are our supplies for today's session and for today's session uh, I, I quickly wanted to just give you a reference of the size of this heart. Um, so this is our regular white square tile and the heart cap just fits in perfectly inside that. So that is a reference for you. You can either have it cut out like this or you can have um, you can just make a heart inside a square and, and work with that. So that's also fine. So um, this is our tile. Now for for our string on string, here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to place my tile like this. So this is my tile. I'm just going to place it here like this and I'm going to make a mark like this and pull this down and make another V-shape like this. So this is my string for this session, um, it's a very simple string. So let's, uh, let's get started. I am going to start off with um, Tangle Tizzy here. So it goes like this, it's a beautiful tangle and it, it kind of goes like this. So we start with a diamond like this and then we make a loop like this and we start aligning this. So the ends of the loop are kind of connected but as you come out you branch out and then come back in like that so you continue adding more loops and bigger loops like that like this so let's repeat the tile as we go okay so continue Adding the loops like that. Okay, so now here I'm in a small dot in there and in, inside these layers we're going to add some fun elements. So I am going to start off with, let's see, so okay I want to finish this with circles here. So I'm going to start with circles right at the top. Then we're going to go back and add black in those gaps. Ok, 
and I'm going to give a very fine aura line just very close to this kind of to finish, give it a good finish like that so let's go ahead and repeat that on, on other three petals So now I am going to go back here in a second. I'm going to skip that and then the one right after that we're going to add lines. And over here, I'm going to fill this up with solid black. Uh, and I'm just going to leave a little bit of space right there to make it look like it's, it's uh, like a highlight. So this is easy. Okay, so now we got this here. Now I'm just going to add some fun balls here. Okay. So now let's move on to this section here. So here I am going to start off with Lane. So Lane is again a beautiful tangle. So I'm going to start like this. A couple of aura lines. Now what maybe I'm going to give it a heart shape. So now we're going to add petals to this. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my long petal like this right in the center, and then we're going to go smaller with the size of the petals. So this one goes like this, slightly smaller, and this is small. Now let's repeat the same thing on the other side like that and now from here I am going to pull out uh, hollows just about one or two and then add one more uh, layer of um, in so let's go ahead and so this could be mocha or hollows depend upon how you see this so there it is all done and i'm going to add some more circles here
Okay, so now here I am again going to start off with rain, whatever we did here, this, this floral um, pattern. So now I'm going to try and pull this out all the way down and then this is going to be slightly shorter and then we have another one even more shorter like that and I'm just going to give this an aura line okay so there it's all done now I'm going to repeat this on this side as well so I'm going to start off first with some hollers or mukha I have one more here, smaller ones, and I'm going to fill this piece up with circles. Okay, so we're going to start with laying here. Okay, so there it is all done. I'm just going to fill this space with more circles. Okay, so there, this is all done. Now let's get to this section here. So here, I, uh, we are going to do this tangle called Leafy Win. So this is a beautiful fun tangle. Again, it starts off like, um, like a, a, a mocha. So it goes like this. I'm going to start this off from here. Um, so it kind of goes like this and curls in, curls in like that. And like that. And then we start adding leaves to this angle. And so here I'm going to pull out another another mocha just because I want to fill this piece up like that and probably one more. Okay, and here we are going to pull out lines to show the leaves. Okay, so um let's repeat this on the other side as well so have it like this and i'm going to go around okay so i'm squeezing in my leaf right there and then continue to add more leaves Okay, and let's pull out another color shape. Oh, I like that. <laughs> it almost looks like a like a reindeer, like the horns and this looks like the eye and probably the nose but this was totally unexpected okay so we'll get to this section here so here we're going to do 
um, this triangle called Remfit is a beautiful grid based triangle. So, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to first make squares, um, make a grid. So I am going to make my grid like this. Okay, and we're going to make a plus here. Okay, so here we need to be uh, careful as in, so we're going to make um, more like a zigzag here. So what I'm going to do here is it's going to go this way. So I'm going to make a square here right here like this and we're going to pull out a part around this line like this now here i'm pretending that there's a part going like this so we're going to skip one and make our square here and Pull out a line, make a part. So we're going to skip this, make a square here. Okay, and again here. Right, so that is Wimpret. Now on this side, we're going to do um, Sansville. So I'm just going to randomly pull out lines like that and loop it up and then we're going to add all after that. So I'm randomly putting out lines and I'm adding all as to that. Just seeing how I can fit one more in here. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and kind of fill all these uh, spaces up with triples.
right, so I'm going to go back and just add a little bit of dark, give it a little weight right there. So now here I'm going to add um, complete uh, black in, in this section here and over here I'm just going to add circles, more circles. Okay, so we're going to fill this section with solid black. Okay, so now I'm um, just going to use my um, 01 micron, just add these inner details inside lane. Okay, so now let's get to shading. So I'm going to start off right here, add my pencil along that. Okay, so I'm gonna work this way. I'm gonna add my pencil right here. So I'm gonna now go around this. leaves of a uh, leaf even
So I'm just going along this um, this string line that we drew, right? So I'm just going along that and turning this out. So there it is all done. Now if you have a white pen, you can probably add a few dots in there. So I'm going to use a white pen. Okay, so let's journal this. Okay, so let's journal this. Um, so today's date is 15th of Feb. And this is tile. Okay, tile on tile string number 12 and we worked with a whole bunch of tangles so we started off with the Z and then we added the uh, think we added rain and then hollies and then and then we added leaf even then we added wind rough and finally sunswood. Then to the rain, all the sunswood, we say when and this is when the I think we covered all of that. So these were our tiles for today's session. And uh, is our tile all done? Hope you had fun on this project with me. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our Facebook group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zenbees. For sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Manne or hashtag Tangles with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there. And I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand this entangled method and to get started in your own entangled journey, check out my website www.sandhyamanyastudio.com for classes, courses and membership. Click on the link Tangle Tutelage in the description. Receive a free gift when you sign up and uh, receive weekly inspirations, updates on my upcoming projects and workshops, and other fun things that I do across social media. If you are on Instagram, then join me on my Instagram live every Wednesday at 7 30 pm India time. Let's tangle together in real time. It's time to comment now, so please comment and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you next on Friday in our Focus Light series. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.